Um, hello, good morning, and welcome to Deering's first ever virtual student visit day. Um, we're thrilled that this was able to happen and that we can give you a little sense of what life is like at Deering. I am Allison Dame. I'm one of the co-principals at Deering, and I'll let my colleague, Dr. Ahmed, introduce himself as well. Hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Abdullahi Ahmed, Dr. Ahmed, and I'm one of the co-principals at Deering High School. As you know, Deering is one of the amazing uh, three high schools in Portland. And today we will present you to Deering and we are looking forward to see you at Deering High School. Yes, as Dr. Med said, you are very lucky to have three very good high schools to, to choose from. And each one has their own special personality and um, culture. So we'll spend the next hour kind of letting you know about what makes Deering unique or special and why we love Deering. Um, at Deering, we succeed together because we everyone is valued, challenged, and empowered. So I'm gonna spend just a few minutes here talking about what, what do we mean by that valued, challenged, and empowered? One thing it means to, to value students is just to have great teachers and great instruction. So we really care that our teachers create caring relationships with students, that they help them in every way that they can. And we're proud that when we survey our students um, about their teachers, they have very good things to say. Um, so it all starts with good relationships between teachers and students and exciting classes. Hope said that teachers are inclusive and they use different learning styles to include everyone. Cody said that the teachers are energetic and engaging. Madi said that the teachers make her excited to learn. Sarah said that they include a global perspective, so it's not just always about one, one point of view. And Aiden explained that they always make themselves available when he needs help. Another thing we mean when we say that we value students is that we listen to them and we try and make the school that fits their interests. So for example, when a student has an idea for a club or activity that doesn't exist yet, we're proud of the, uh, our ability to create new clubs. In just the past few years, we've created new clubs like Black Student Union, Muslim Student Association, Anime Club, and a new sport, eSports, um, which Mr. Daly, our athletic director and co-curricular director, will talk about later. These were all because students wanted them. One of our alums said that Deering is a friendly and diverse environment where teachers see the potential in students and help you explore it. So if they see an interest that you have, they'll help find a way for you to explore it. We also make sure our students are challenged. We know that you in order to get ahead in this world and to really do the things you want to do, you've got to take risks and challenges and do hard things and succeed at them. So we have 16 AP courses, and you can start taking AP courses in ninth grade with AP Human Geography. We also have many students uh, taking courses at local colleges like USM and SMCC, and that allows them to take um, classes in all different topics like astrology, psychology, sociology, whatever they're interested in. And Mr. Cherry and our uh, student president, Balkis Mohammed, will talk to you a little bit later about how our schedule makes taking college classes easier. What else does it mean to challenge students? We call ourselves a challenge by choice school. Whenever a student is ready to take a challenge, we don't hold them back just because they weren't taking honors classes before. If you're ready, then you can choose to take honors and AP classes. We also, like the other schools in Portland, offer STEM endorsement and seal by literacy. These are skills that are really important for 21st century jobs, so they help you get ready to get the job that you want. What does it mean to empower students? Well, you can't wait until after you graduate to get experiences in the types of things you want to do as an adult. You have to have chances to do that now. So we offer a wide range of different experiences where students can get involved and actually try out the things they're interested in. For example, we have a debate team that won the state championships two years ago, robotics team where you actually build robots, theater and also stage tech. So if you're not much of an actor, but you like building things or working on lighting, We've got that here too. And of course, studio art. 
and our wonderful art classrooms. We also give students a chance to, to stand out and to actually give back to their community. So Seeds of Peace and the Can We Project are examples of where high school students are actually helping to mend conflict or where people are disagreeing, they actually use their skills of dialogue to help the communities that they're in. And in Model United Nations, they get a chance to solve real world problems with other students across the state. We don't, students don't need to wait until they're an 11th or 12th grader to take on these types of leadership roles. Students take an active role in student government starting in ninth grade. One of our senates is a specifically a ninth grade senate and we need co-presidents right away. So there are our current ninth grade co-presidents and they'll be involved in leadership and decision making at Deering for all four years. We also open up chances and Ms. Eiferman will talk to you about this later in the program to just have amazing experiences that change you as a person. For instance, our CIE trips allow you to travel the world. Here's one of our alums riding a camel in Morocco. And finally, when we talk about empowering students, um, again, when students have an idea for a way to make Deering better, we take it seriously that we need to listen. So for example, last year, our students said they really wished we had an African-American history course. And so we worked with USM, the University of Southern Maine, to offer up a dual credited USM course that's running in both the fall and the spring. That wouldn't have happened if student voice, if students hadn't made their voice heard. One of our alums said, Deering's philosophy of encouraging student voice help strengthen my self-confidence and belief in my own power. That's really important to us. When we combine these three things, valued, challenged, and empowered, the result is that students are ready, uh, prepared, and empowered to go to local colleges, local trade schools, and some of the best colleges in the nation. These are just a few of the places our current seniors have already been accepted. So next up, I'm going to hand it over to Ms. Bright and some of our students to talk specifically about the ninth grade experience. But before I do that, Ms. Simonis, have there been any questions? I, I just wanted to make sure I saw some raised hands. If you do have a question, feel free to leave it in the Q&A and we'll find a place to weave it in. But we've also prepared answers to the questions you already submitted and you'll be hearing from our students about those. All right, without further ado, hand it over to Ms. Bright. Hello, um, my name is Ms. Bright. I'm one of the ninth grade teachers. Um, we're excited that you're learning about Deering today. Um, one of the really neat things about Deering High School is that there's multiple choices in how you challenge yourself that Ms. Dame just talked about um, within the ninth grade. So we have a whole section of the school that is our ninth grade teachers, our majority of our ninth grade teachers, so that we're always available to support you. Um, and we have, like Ms. Dame said, a lot of different choices and classes that will align with your interests. So you can choose to challenge yourself in the language arts, in art class, um, in history, you can take a college level class, you can take accelerated math, there's lots of specialty choirs within music, um, science electives, and even things like Photoshop and robotics. So one of our students um, is with Ms. Noor to talk about what it was like to take one of those accelerated Hi, classes. Are you talking about your email? Just Hi, I am Ms. Noor. I am the AP Human Geography teacher and sitting with me, I have Levi. And I'm going to ask Levi one question that I know a lot of our incoming ninth graders often wonder about. So Levi, how have you been challenged and supported here at Deering High School? Uh, I have been challenged and supported at doing with uh, different classes, making you have to think differently on how you answer. And uh, I've been supported through Learning Center, which lets me uh, and anyone lets anyone get their grade up if they have the too low, if they want to get it up.
And now we will send it over to Mr. Hutchins that can give you some more information on how students are supported here at Deering High School. All right, thank you, Ms. Noor. And one second here, sorry folks. Just had to move rooms. All right, sorry, all right, here we go. Um, so I'm Ryan Hutchins, uh, Spanish teacher and wrestling coach here at Deering. And I'm a Deering grad, class of 1997. Actually, there are several Deering alumni that are teachers and staff here, including Ms. Noor, who just spoke with you, which tells you a lot about how strong of a community feel that Deering creates. We have heard from many of you about your concerns for moving into high school after such a long time away from a normal school setting, and that you may feel like you're behind when you come to Deering. We want to tell you that we hear you. Your concerns are real, and we have shared in your challenges that this past year has brought to us, and we are learning from them and improving what we do every day. To make sure these challenges turn into a positive change for us all, we're working hard to make sure that you have the support you need to not just handle your transition to Deering, but to thrive and excel here. As you heard already, and we'll hear more about the many different options you will have uh, to find the right path for you, Deering will be a place where you can feel safe to challenge yourself, as we'll be here to support you every step of the way. This applies both to academics, but also to your life outside the classroom. There are so many choices for you to get involved in clubs, activities, and sports, which you'll hear more about later. These opportunities to re-engage with your peers, learn from your older Deering classmates, and find ways to be more active in your community will all help you have a strong and positive move to Deering High School. At Deering, we are using the challenges of this past year as an opportunity to grow and become stronger, both as individuals and as a community. We invite you to join us as we do. I hope to see you all next year here at Deering. Go Rams. Now I wanna introduce you to Ms. Sirway, our art teacher, who will talk with Zareda, one of our freshmen, to go over our next topic with you. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Ms. Surway. I am the art teacher and drama co-advisor for Deering High School. Um, I'm very excited to tell you a little bit about our art program. It is um, an incredible program. We offer Art One, we offer a lot of um, advanced electives such as studio art, applied arts, AP art and ceramics and ceramics too as well. Um, there's something for everybody here and I believe that our art curriculum is uh, challenging for uh, for students in terms of bringing everybody's artistic abilities to the next level and I think that it also empowers students to um, to use their voice in creating uh, change around the school I know we have um, a lot of people interested in creating some uh, welcome signs and interesting things in the hallway as well uh, we really work hard to make the art curriculum exciting and I would like to introduce you to Zareda. She is one of my star students, um, and I have a couple of questions for Zareda. Uh, Zareda, what do you think about Art One? Um, I think Art One is a very good class to take. You get to learn and experience see things that you haven't experienced in art. Like you get to learn different parts of art that you might not think of. Because like Zareda, can you speak up a little bit? Yeah, Zareda, I, we can't hear you very well at all. Can you get a little closer to the closer to the mic too? Can you hear me now? A little bit better. Can you talk a little louder? Um, I think Art One is a very good class to take. You get to learn different parts of art that you never learned before. You get to learn like the history, like the history of art, and what different what different parts of art come from. And yeah. Thank you, Zareda. And can you tell us a little bit about some things uh, that you've really enjoyed that you learned in Art One? And talk really loud, as loud as you can. <laughs> some things that I've learned in Art One is like how to make your face proportional in portrait drawing. I've learned about shading and what colors to use and contrast and what colors make other colors pop out. I've also learned about is in doodle drawing. And if you don't know what that is, it's like weird shapes with very good shading that makes like the shape pop out. And you learn a lot of cool things like how to make things look easy and how to make things look realistic. Thank you so much, Sarita. Um, 
And if, if you couldn't hear her very well, but I'll just tell you a couple of the things that we have focused on this year. Um, we've focused on uh, the elements of art and how they apply to um, contemporary art work that people are making right now. Um, we have a focus on contemporary art and artists of color. And I think that our curriculum really brings to um, a student the importance of art currently in the world uh, as a way of uh, creating change uh, and making the world a better place. So um, if you ever have any questions, you feel free to email me. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, and as I said, I'm also the drama co-advisor uh, co as well. And um, even though this year has been very strange, we have still managed to put on some, uh, some great shows. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce Mr. Cherry, our wonderful guidance counselor. Wow, that, you put me on the spot like that. That's a great intro. Thank you, guys. Um, welcome um, for, to, to everyone that's here. My name is Mr. Cherry. I'm one of the four school counselors here at Deering High School. So today, I get the privilege of uh, explaining to you what our wonderful schedule looks like to potential um, Deering students. So uh, I'm very visual, and I'm sure some of you guys are too. So here's what I've done. Um, so your first um, semester, first four blocks may look like this. It's just a, I don't know if you can see this white piece of paper, uh, one, two, three, four, because we have four blocks for the first semester. And it could be anything from English, math, PE, and our wonderful art program. So you take these four, and then you know what? We switch next semester to this, oh, it's supposed to be purple. And notice how the numbers are different is because you take a different set of classes. Now, what this could mean to a potential student who loves art, you can take art here, first, first semester, and then flip over and take ceramics. Or you could take math this semester and then flip over and double up in math or double up in science. Or take intro to um, music, chamber choir singer. So there's a, a plethora, many options for you to take. Uh, what we often see students do is as you progress through the year and you become a junior and now it's your senior year, you start thinking about those STEM classes. Um, we have a program called Extended Learning Opportunities that students can get into and take and get job exposure, career exposure, uh, internship exposure. Uh, we have paths. You might do paths and then do an apprenticeship with them. Um, jobs for main graduates we have. Uh, the, the bigger, and I don't wanna say bigger, but we do see a lot of our students end up at one of our US at college options. And those are either USM at the Gorm campus, but we also have a really unique program called Spring Ahead, where students their senior year end up taking as up to five classes, books are paid for, food is paid for, classes are free, and you go in a cohort and no one knows you are a Deering High School senior. In normal times, you would have access to the complete campus. It's all yours. Go to games, you know, go to events. You are a student there. Transportation, MetroCard. But we will make sure that you know the route to get to SMCC or the route to get to USM. We never want you to feel like you're not, again, that supported piece. So we want to make sure you know you're supported and that you have um, help getting to those places. But that program is unique. And when I mean unique, it only happens at Deering. So that is a unique program that we offer to our seniors there last year. Um, um, I'm sorry that I, you know, I, I, it was kind of quick, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what our unique schedule looks like where you can take different classes, um, different semesters. So I'm passing it over to Bo Keys. I, I believe. I believe yes, I am here. Oh, hey, Bo Keys. Awesome. Hi. All right. All right, well, Keith, uh, I'm going to let you take it away. <laughs> sure. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experience with dual enrollment um, and how the schedule um, really, you know, is specific, like during, uh, like Mr. Cherry said, is that schedule specifically allows for that to happen. Um, so how because in my experience, I'm a really, um, I'm interested in STEM. I'm a really strong science and math student um, at Deering. Um, so I take a lot of, starting from freshman year, I did what we call doubling up at Deering um, and doubling up on math and science. So every semester um, I took a math and science. Uh, so I took two maths and two sciences um, every semester um, and I'm a junior now. And what, how that's beneficial to me is because right now I'm taking, um, 
I already have, you know, some USM credits that, you know, will save me money in the long run. So in terms of like if you, a regular AB schedule, right, it would take you like four years just to get to pre-calc or if you start at Algebra 1. But um, because you get the prerequisites done, I'm already um, a calc student at USM and I have calc credit. Um, and I also have chemistry credit at USM as well and lab credit at USM. Um, so combining all of my credits only, not including AP credits that um, Ms. Day mentioned to you that we have so much of um, AP classes, but just do, by doing dual enrollment, um, taking classes at USM that count as USM credit and high school credit. Um, I already have like one semester of classes done. So in the long run, that takes me like, that saves me a lot of money um, because you know, I'm not paying for that classes. Deering is paying for that classes for me and that's for every student. Um, so for, for me, that's really beneficial. Um, I don't know who I'm post passing it on to next, um, but that's, that's my experience with um, you know, dual enrollment. And that's a really big reason why I chose Deering High School, because again, that's super specific um, to Deering. Bokis, can you tell them who you are again, as far as what your position? Oh yeah, I'm the student body president um, at Deering High School. Um, and I'm also the president of the MSA. Thanks so much, um, Bokis. We're going next to Mr. Daly. Doesn't look like Mr. Daly is. Mr. Daly will be joining us momentarily. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you, Farasi and Balkis. Um, welcome to Middle School Virtual Visit Day and to Daring High School Athletics. I'm Mr. Daly. I'm the co-curricular director here at Daring High School, which means I oversee clubs and activities and all our high school athletics. Our goal for Portland Public Schools co-curricular activities is life enrichment for each student through development of good sportsmanship, citizenship, life skills, health and fitness, strength, self-reliance, emotional maturity, and social growth. Some of the key things to remember, there are some really great reasons to participate in high school sports. And some of the seven top ones that we always talk about here at Deering, it prepares you for the future. So you develop key life skills, teaches you collaboration and teamwork, elevates academics where high school student athletes GPAs are usually higher, especially here at Deering. It teaches leadership skills. You learn time management, Builds character traits like persistence, patience, and poise, the three Ps, and you improve your fitness and wellness and have a healthy lifestyle. Our student athletes here are valued, challenged, and empowered. And here you see a football game from last year on Memorial Field, Anamani Peoples Gorman uh, running the ball uh, against Gorm. Uh, one of the, our best games last fall, the Rams had a, a great night at Memorial last fall against the Rams. Uh, for Deering Athletics, we have 26 varsity sports and more than 50 Deering High School athletic teams. That means it presents opportunities for all the middle schoolers when they come to high school to play high school athletics, whether it's first team, JV, or varsity. And again, athletics here at Deering and in Portland Public Schools are education-based athletics. What that means is it's part of your educational process and your journey, and they're co-curricular. Um, so you enjoy them as part of your learning experience as a high school student. During high school athletics credo is the three R's, rigor, respect, and relationships. Those will help you rise up as Rams. Our high school sports offerings. I know many of you are wondering, what do we have at high school for interscholastic athletics? In the fall, those are the sports we have listed. Uh, football, boys and girls soccer, field hockey is a co-op with Port, uh, Portland High School. Boys cross country and girls volleyball. New this fall was golf. We brought golf back and had a great season. Uh, cheering eSports was our brand new program that we started this year. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Currently we're in winter sports season. Um, boys and girls basketball will be practicing today. Same with ice hockey, uh, indoor track starts this week, swimming today, uh, wrestling, Nordic skiing, cheer and unified basketball. And those are our spring sports that we offer. Baseball, softball, the lacrosse, esports has a spring season as well. Uh, outdoor track, 
boys club volleyball, tennis, and unified bocce. Again, if you see the symbol uh, from Portland Public Schools, that means it's a co-op program with Deering in Portland. Uh, and for instance, swimming this year is a new co-op program for Portland Public Schools, and it's going fantastic. Uh, we actually had our highest numbers ever for the program, and we're looking forward to having virtual meets uh, starting in two weeks. And here's some highlights from our fall soccer season. So this was this fall. Um, so you see our soccer players uh, in really excelling this fall on the field at Memorial. This was before there was a full mask mandate. So this fall, we actually participated in fall sports without masks in competition. And that has changed as we moved on during the year. So this winter, all winter student athletes will be wearing masks um, and we're ready to start up today. Uh, one of the benefits of Daring High School and really, really one of the unique parts of the high school itself and the campus is that we have a city campus. So that means as you walk right outside of our doors, we have fields and facilities for all of our athletic programs ready and waiting for you. 11 plus acres of outdoor fields and facilities are right outside this door. Um, state of the art turf stadium out back it, as Memorial Field it has a 3200 seat capacity. Uh, again, we have our soccer teams, lacrosse teams, football, all play out there. And we have newly surfaced championship tennis courts and we started outdoor volleyball this fall. And uh, those courts will be uh, updated as we head into next fall as well. So as you can see, one of the real benefits of Deering is that campus feel to the high school right in the heart of the city. Here's some great highlights from last year's basketball season. As you can see, uh, that highlight on the left, that picture of them celebrating, our JV team hit a buzzer-beating buzzer three-pointer to win the game, and the varsity players right there went crazy. It was awesome. It was just one of those memorable experiences, and the rest of the pictures are from uh, our fantastic boys basketball team who made a deep run into the state tournament last year. During high school, athletics has always had dominance, um, in all of our sports. And here's some of the highlights that we have for our golf team. They went to the state tourney this year and we have one of the top individual finalists in the state championships. Again, eSports was started this fall and we were main high school state champions in our very first season. And we also went 24 and 0 and didn't lose a single game. Uh, it was just a magical way to start. And we're looking forward to spring eSports as well. Our Nordic ski team in 2018 were state champs and their perennial uh, champions, uh, whether it's the girls team or the boys team, they're always battling for state prominence uh, on the skis. Boys basketball, again, had a, a magical run in the state playoffs last year. They were the number three seed and went 15 and six. Uh, football, girls and boys basketball, cross country track, and girls and boys soccer are all perennial state tournament teams. Volleyball and boys and girls lacrosse are programs here at Daring that are very much on the rise. We actually had a great fall volleyball season. Looking forward to the winter season coming up. And Rams have been city and state dominance, dominance on the baseball diamond as well. And they've really enjoyed that. We have um, many state championships, but also we have one, an alum that plays for the St. Louis Cardinals. And one of the alums also coaches for the San Diego Padres. And we want you, uh, want you to remember is we want you to participate in our athletics, but we want you to play sports at Deering, not just for something to do, although that's nice, but we want you to do something. Two more slides, I think. So athletic at Deering uh, will help you climb to the top and fulfill your Portland promise. We want you to think purple. And really the Deering difference is the people. And we'd like you to meet one of those great student athletes. We'd like you to meet one of our Rams. It's Aaliyah Ferreira. She's a senior student athlete and volleyball team captain. And we're gonna have an ask an athlete Q&A so you could hear from her. Thanks for joining us, Aaliyah. Hello. Uh, so, uh, first question you ask is you describe your experience. Um, so my experience at Deering um, would probably start off freshman year um, coming in just like you guys are. Um, and I came in um, as a, a younger sibling to a, another athlete. Um, my older brother, Leo, came here and he was a four year um, varsity athlete. Um, so I came in with kind of like a legacy ahead of me and I decided to go a different route and I played volleyball, which was a new sport for me, completely new freshman year. I started off 
freshman team and it was honestly a really fun experience. Um, but as time went on, I saw a lot of growth um, with my performance as an athlete and I created um, teammates and bonds that I've never like experienced in middle school, friendships that were on and off the court. Um, and so sophomore year, I was starting JV and a, um, I swung up to varsity for a couple matches, especially towards the end of the tournament season. And then I went on junior year um, to varsity, starting varsity um, and then senior year um, varsity as well, but as team captain. So you really see the variety in how I changed the way um, I played and um, that was really vital to my performance on the court, but also off the court um, in the classroom as well. And Ali, if you could just tell us about maybe a day in the life of a student athlete here at Deering. So um, before COVID, um, it was a little different. Um, school started at eight. Um, Usually we would all we would all meet in um, the athletic director's office. Most of the athletes, um, we would come in, have breakfast, um, and we would all make our ways to class. Um, some of us would have internships. Some of us would have classes. Some of us would have study halls, and we would get to class um, and we would go throughout all our classes. Um, at the end of block two, half of us have lunch and half of us have another class. Um, and then um, that would switch. So the people that had lunch would go to class and at the end of the people who had class, they would go to lunch, um, which is off or on campus. Um, we have a quality shop down the street. If you can find a ride with like an upperclassman, um, which is really, really fortunate and possible if you play sports. Um, we're all super nice, but creating that bond with teammates um, can really get you far in the lunchroom. Um, so you can go down the street, there's McDonald's or Roma Joe's is on the way if you have enough time. Um, so you pretty much have anything you want for lunch and you come back, you have one more class after lunch, um, along with when and everything, um, which is our study period. And then after that, class is done, the school day is done. Most of the time you have time to go home and like get a snack in or you can start some homework. Um, and then you can come back to the school campus for practice. Um, those are usually like an hour and a half to two hours each. And then you can um, either go home, do homework or go home team dinner. Um, but it's really up to you how you balance your time. And last question, Ali, is if you could tell us a favorite experience here at Deering and advice for these middle school future Rams. Okay, um, so for memories, um, a lot of them were actually in the room I'm sitting in, in the athletic director's office. It's right off of the main entrance. Um, this is really a vital spot to our community, at least. Um, we created a lot of different memories, um, a lot of different um, food memories, actually. Um, lunch was in here, um, breakfast was in here hanging around, making conversation, talking, laughing. So I would say probably some of my memory, like my favorite memories were here, um, specifically arguing over food um, and seeing whoever would get the last donut, the last sandwich and everything like that. Um, for advice, I would say find your balance. Um, find your balance with time management and everything like that. With time, you'll learn how to balance out athletics and um, athletics and academics, um, especially if you're more than, if you're like a two sport athlete or a three sport athlete, or there's even a possibility for four sport athletes if you double up in um, sports, but the people will be here um, along the way and they'll really help you out, whatever you need, um, whatever you need, you can get. Um, and otherwise, yeah, just find your balance because I've seen kids find their balance and they do amazing things here and I don't see why you can't. Thanks for joining us, Aaliyah. We'd like to uh, thank you for joining us and talking and hearing more about Deering High School Athletics. We've got much more than sports at Deering. We also have over 40 clubs to get involved in. Here are three of our club leaders at Deering to tell you about the many exciting ways to get involved and have fun in Deering's clubs and activities. Mm-hmm.
Good morning, people. My name is Greg Stolfin, and I'm experiencing technical difficulty, obviously, but <laughs> you would think I'd have this mastered, but I have not. So I'm here to talk about the clubs. During high school, I've been here for 24 years, and every day I come in here, I'm just amazed at the opportunities that I have to be around some amazing young people as they go about their lives and they grow from freshmen to seniors. It is truly a special opportunity to be part of that. As clubs and activities, we've talked about academics, we talk about athletics, but now I want to expose you to the really key piece of Daring High School, and that's like our clubs and our activities. We offer over 40 clubs and activities, which is pretty amazing. And here's a list of just the activities that we have been running this fall in the middle of a pandemic, which is really, really, if I have to say, it's admirable for the way that these people have continued to try to maintain and keep these important programs and clubs and activities going. So one of the things we have about our clubs and activities is really simple. We have a flexible mindset. We, we, we're not saying, well, we've been doing this forever and ever and ever. When you come to us or you come to Mr. Daly and you say, I have this strong interest and we have a group of students who have this strong interest, what can we do? Where do I fit in the tradition of Daring High School but where do we expand that tradition with a flexible mindset to offer something that is a new interest to us? So we've given you an example, we've added the Black Student Union, which was an important component to our school and our club and activity. And we also added anime, I mean, two extremes. There was a, a strong interest by the students. They went to our athletic directors and our co-principals and we made that happen. And you have an excited staff and members who would volunteer their time. A lot of these positions are unpaid, so they're just dedicated to the idea of like anime. And we wanna have that experience and help build you into that experience. The other thing is like we offer state and national level competitions in some of our clubs and activities. So it's not just based on student interest, but we also have debate, which has been going to national competitions, drama, which has been involved in the state competition, Seeds of Peace, which is an international organization and sending students to work in the summertime with that program and even instituting organizational activities here at Deering High School, especially this summer. And then you have Breccia, which is our literary magazine, which is an amazing magazine that we offer which has been nationally recognized and it touches many bases. But it's also just not about those things. We want to actually tap into your individual interests. Like you look at chess club, that's an individual interest with Mr. Borland loves chess and he's taken on that role as a, as a mentor for students to get engaged in play chess or the outdoor club. And then we also have like key social service programs. We have a mentoring program and we have the key club. We have opportunities for students to actually do service and to give back. So whatever your interests are, our clubs and activities are designed to help tap into those interests for you to be able to explore and expand yourself as a student. As you move through your ninth grade to your 12th grade year, you, we won't recognize you here during high school, but these opportunities you can change and grow with them. I'm now going to pass it to Heather Sawyer to talk about government. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Stilfen. I'm gonna talk just really briefly about student government. Um, our student government, some people will call in other schools might call it a student council. Um, we've really been growing this club over the past couple of years. Um, we have about 75 members. We have student body presidents. Each class elects two presidents at the beginning of the school year in September. And your student government gets to do all the fun stuff like organize hall decorating and pep rallies and homecoming and prom, but we also get to do some really important stuff. And we've been really involved in getting other organizations that Mr. Silfen was just talking about, bringing those organizations in and working together and really getting our student voices heard. Um, just a real quick example over Thanksgiving break, our students came to us and said, we need a break. It's Thanksgiving break teachers need a break and students need a break. So please no homework. And so our student body president went to the principals and said, can we have a no homework, uh, no work policy over Thanksgiving break this year? And principal said, yep, let's do it. Put the memo out and our students all got a break. Um, 
so this is just an example of the type of student voice and the type of real change that our student government can, can do here at Deering. Um, and we work really closely with a lot of the other classes we work with or organizations. We work with Key Club, we work with our BSU, we are working really closely this year with our natural helpers and really focusing on our students' mental health and trying to um, help everybody get through these times. So I'm gonna pass it off to uh, Ms. Eiferman, who's gonna talk about a wonderful program that you should all take advantage of, and that is CIEE. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ms. Sawyer. And hi, everybody. Um, I am Ms. Eiferman. I'm a Spanish teacher here at Deering High School. I have five facts that I wanna share with you. And then um, I'm hoping to invite a student to talk a little bit more about her experience. So um, at Deering High School, we partner with an organization called CIEE and their main mission is to send students all over the world to have a study abroad experience. So I'm gonna give you some five facts about um, how this partnership sort of benefits during high school students. My first fact is that 46 of our students have completed a CIEE trip. Um, students have traveled to over 20 different countries all over the world. And actually you have, if you apply for a trip to travel, you can choose from over 30 countries, uh, depending on what your interests are. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the majority of Deering High School students receive a scholarship to help pay for the trip. Um, CIEE is really committed to helping Deering students be able to benefit from these travel opportunities. And one way they help is by providing financial support uh, the trips are three to four weeks during the summertime, so you don't miss school, um, but you get to have a really rewarding experience. And there are three different trips you can choose from. The trips include language and culture, global discovery, and service and leadership. Um, so I wanted to invite uh, student Jana Rosenthal, if she's here to answer a couple questions and talk a little bit about her experience traveling abroad. She is here, Ms. Eiferman, go ahead. Okay, yeah. hi, Jonna. Hi. So, um, uh, Jonna, I wanted to ask you, I think we have time for a couple questions, but at first, what made you want to apply for a CIEE trip? Yeah, so I knew a lot of upperclassmen um, through connections with sports and clubs that had gone abroad. Um, and they all raved about their experience and how much it changed their life and how they had friends all across the world um, after their trips. So that was really interesting to me. And um, I wanted a new experience and a new perspective. And I thought that traveling abroad and studying in a different country would provide that. Cool. So what kind of trip did you end up doing? And then maybe if you could share a couple of the highlights for you um, that you had on that trip. Yeah, so I ended up doing a Spanish language and culture program in Madrid, Spain, um, and it was a month long um, and it was amazing. Um, I think some of my highlights besides learning Spanish and really upping um, the level which I can communicate at now would be just experiencing the culture through my host family. Um, I stayed with a family and they had had a few host siblings. One of them was an eight-year-old little girl. Um, and it was just amazing to be able to see what life is like through their eyes. Um, besides that, we got to go do um, like bowl runs and a lot of other um, traditional things that they do in Madrid, which was um, an amazing experience. Um, and I still have friends from that trip who live across the world, which is really nice. That sounds really fun. Um, I'm going to kind of go off. I'm going to add a new question, but would you recommend this type of experience to incoming um, eighth graders or do you have any advice for them in terms of like taking advantage of a CIEE travel trip? Yeah, so when I was a freshman, I didn't really think it would be possible for me, um, but they really do give um, amazing grants. And even if you think you won't be able to afford it, um, usually they will help you out significantly. Um, and I would just recommend it because it's always interesting to be able to see 
how other people live their lives. Um, we're kind of in a bubble in the Portland in the United States, and it's interesting to be able to see what teenagers across the world are doing. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Jana. And thanks everyone for listening. Um, I think I'm now gonna turn it over to Mr. Gordon who has some students, uh, some current, current Deering freshmen who will answer some questions that we've received from our eighth graders. Hi, I'm gonna get my question in. Can I earn all 41 credits? Can you be louder, please? Um. Hi, I'm Eglin, and my question is, can I earn all 41 credits even if I fail one year? The answer is yes. Daring gives you the opportunity to retake classes since Daring's schedule is only four classes a semester. You would have the time and opportunity to work hard and earn your credits on time. Uh, my name is Connor. My question is, how long do you have to revise assignments to get a better grade? You'll have two weeks to revise or redo any assignments. You will have a chance to do them in the Learning Center. The teachers are very available to help you out. For example, uh, I had an AP Human Geography test that I needed to revise, and Miss Bright was there the whole time just to help me with questions and answers. Uh, hi, my name is Tim, and my question is, at Deering, are there any inter internship opportunities? And if so, what year, and what are some examples? So at Deering, Sydney Williams is the ELO coordinator. ELO stands for Extended Learning Opportunities. She can set you up internship or job shadows for you to gain real life experience. You can do this in your junior or senior years primarily. And ELOs are also fun optional classes where you can do things like learning how to change a tire on your car and how to file your taxes. And another ELO involved a group of students visiting Maine Med to learn about careers in healthcare. ELOs are available to every grade. Hi, my name's Aaliyah. My question was, do you have to take an AP class in order to graduate? Right now, I'm taking human, AP Human Geography, and that is one of my favorite classes. Right now, mostly because of my teacher. It is not required to take an AP class, but it could potentially help you in college by giving you credits, and it could help you save money. Hi, my name is Maya, and my question was, how much homework do you have a night, and what's the intensity of it? Um, each night, you can have anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour of homework, which is very manageable if you stay on top of it. Each night, it varies. Um, it could be from studying uh, a bigger assignment, but it also depends on the class you're taking. Hi, my name is Nora. My question is how many classes you have a day. Um, you have four classes a day for each about an hour long. And those classes you have for a full semester and then each semester you get a new set of four classes. And this benefits you because you can focus more on those four single classes and you have less homework because you don't have more than four. Uh, hi, my name is Olivia, and my question is how many language classes are there? And there are four different languages that you can take. There's Spanish, French, Arabic, and Mandarin Chinese. And Arabic and Mandarin are classes that are unique to Deering, so you can't take them at any of the other high schools. Hi, my name is Lauren, and my question is, all high schools offer you to take classes at SNC and USM? The answer is yes, all high schools do offer this. However, Deering has a high percentage of students taking these classes because of our schedule. A benefit of taking classes at those, um, with those opportunities is getting college credits while you're still in high school. Hi, I'm DeJour, and my question is, can you start new co-curriculars at Deering? And the answer is yes. Um, we have a lot, and if you want to start, say, an anime club, I know that's very popular right now, um, you could go to Mr. Daly, or you could go to the student government and propose an idea, and that was how, that's how you would start. Hi, my name's Grace, and a question I got was, will I pick my own schedule, and who will help me with that? And you do get freedom to choose your own class, classes. There are a few required that you have to take throughout your years, um, but you're good. you can talk to your guidance counselor and they will help you to find classes that interest you the most. Uh, hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm gonna be answering a couple questions for you guys. The first question is, can you do sports and clubs at the same time? Short answer is yes, 
uh, even I do multiple activities at once. I do, I'm class president and I'm currently doing basketball. So if you can balance more than one thing at the same time, go for it. Uh, my second question is how many sports can a person do and is there a limit? So you can do, for the most part, you can do one sport per season. So you could do soccer in the fall, you could do basketball in the winter and you could do tennis in the spring. That's just an example. Uh, now, uh, we hope you have, we hope we've answered your questions today. To close out our program, we've asked three Deering students to talk about their experiences here and why they chose Deering. Here's our first presenter, ninth grader, Levi Pelletier. When I was in the same spot as you are today and was choosing what high school to go to, I wanted choice in my experience and I wanted to have choice in what I pursue and that for classes I would want to pursue later, later, later in life. At Ewing, I saw I would be able to stack classes I enjoy, like science, to advance farther into them at school. I also saw a wide variety of clubs to choose from for after school. At Ewing, I got really interesting classes, like AP Human Geography, super nice teachers who are always there for you and really care about your education, and a lot of clubs, like debate team, to do after school. Do you and let me and will let you choose what experience you want and pursue what you're interested in? Thank you. Just say hi, I'm Mayinga. Hi, my name is Mayinga. And I didn't get to choose my school, but I'm happy to be here at Deering. At first, when I came here and one here and now, I didn't know any English, but people here helped me to find my way. The teachers here are kind, friendly, and they are helpful. So here at school, I want to continue doing track and being an choir. And when I will graduate here at Daring High School, I want to be a lawyer, physician, and singer. So guys, come to Daring. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Anya Frank, and I'm a sophomore here at Daring. Let's face it, this past year has pretty much sucked. During high school is a very impactful time. Some people say it's the best time of your life, but that's not always true. It's a time where you can learn to love yourself, a time of confusion and curiosity, a time where you go through adversities in your life. It's always hard to choose a school and it's even harder now. Here's my story. At first, when I came to Deering, I was insecure of who I was, unsure if I belonged, if this was the right place for me. The transition from middle school was scary and it was hard to let go of my old friends and community at Lincoln. Deering has given me the strength and stability to overcome those fears. This community makes me feel safe, heard, and empowered. My teacher, Ms. Bright, and co-principal, Dr. Ahmed, give me endless support and courage. At the end of last year, Ms. Bright sent a card to each of us talking about our great qualities. When I see Dr. Ahmed in the hallway, he always greets me and truly wants to know how I'm doing. In class, hearing about my classmates' stories and seeing their work inspires me. Even if I'm not having a great day, my friends can always make me laugh and my family is always there to support me. It is crucial to pick a school you truly love, not a place you feel is forced and impacted by the opinions and judgments of others. Each of you will have your own individual experience that differs from everyone else's. Your ideas and thoughts are important. Be the one in the room to say something out that has the head stirred and the eyes turned. Be the one to ask the uncomfortable, weird, and awkward questions. The one that says what others won't or feel afraid to say. I want you to know it is okay to astound people with your brilliance. Don't feel afraid to speak your truth. Speak it loud. Speak it clear. Leave the room with silence. I encourage all of you to pick a school that makes you through these things and more. A school that challenges you to find yourself. A school that inspires you and uplifts you. A school where you have undeniable support. Every school is so unique in its own way, but it's truly us that make it that way. I want to hear what you have to say. Your voice matters. Thank you all. We hope you've enjoyed your virtual visit to Deering. Here for a final farewell today are our co-principals, Dr. Ahmed and Ms. Singh. Hello, everyone. 
We're so pleased that you could have joined that you could join us today. Um, and we hope you enjoyed your time. If you have any further questions that we haven't answered, please just get in touch with us or go to our website or follow our Instagram at Deering underscore HS. Uh, Dr. Abed, I'll hand it to you. Hello again, and everyone. Uh, we are sure that you will make a good choice. And as, we, as I said in the beginning, we have three wonderful schools and we are looking forward to see you at Deering High School, if you use Deering High School. And stay safe and stay well. Thank you very much, everyone.